Hello everybody, and uh, welcome to, I believe this is something around the 70th match, so I don't, I'm not keeping very good track, but anyway, this is a little cup match against some guy named Flavored Drink, and uh, I'm just going to say this right now, this match has a bit of an interesting ending, uh, in my opinion, but anyway, looking at the team preview, my team is my normal little cup team, uh, it involves around uh, Abra, Scarf Doduo, Hazards, Omanite, Mischievous, just Mischievous, Agility Porygon, and a Fungus. It's actually a pretty decent team if I do say so myself, but anyway, looking at his team, he has some pretty interesting things like a Blitzel and a Ducklet, I normally don't see those. Uh, I'm thinking that the Ducklet might be uh, like Raindance Swift Swim, um, and if that's the case then, uh, well, if that's the case then that's the case. That could also mean that his Drift Loon has things like uh, Thunder and stuff, but uh, that also one of the things that's kind of seeing see my eye is Gibble and Pawniard. Those could be threatening. Anyway, talking too long. Match. He leads off with his Pawniard, and I lead off with my normal lead, which is Mischievous. Uh, but for some reason, he stays in. This is something that I've seen people do. Doesn't really, like, make sense to me. Um, but hey, he's burned now. And because I have the Hidden Power fighting, I can just kill him off now. Which is very nice. I am left at 10%, though. So I guess kind of a waste of my Mischievous, but it is pretty decent Death Fodder, I guess. So he's going to switch into his Gibble now. I don't know if this means that he's Choice Scarfed, but I'm going to switch into my Omanite regardless because I know that I can take it pretty well and that I and that, that will give me a chance to set up my Stealth Rocks, which I'm going to do right now. He goes into his Mankey. Now, I could have taken this opportunity to go back into my Mischievous, but just in case he uh, goes with the U-turn and gets Switch Advantage... Actually, that would probably... Whatever! Uh, means I go into my Fungus, and here he makes a play that I was kind of worried about, and that's going into his Blitzel just in case he had Sap Sipper. I still go for the Stun Spore, um, but here I do something kind of cool if I do say so myself, because I know that he's going to go for the Flame Charge, because if you have Sap Sipper, then you're probably physical. So I go for the Clear Smog, get rid of those stat boosts, and uh, now I'm just going to take that opportunity to get my Regenerator going. I'm going to switch out of there um, and go in and fodder off my Mischievous. Uh, because I know that he's going to go for another Flame Charge here. I actually thought that I would probably be faster because Scarf Doduo is pretty darn fast. Um, I guess I uh, underestimated Blitzel, but yeah, GG Doduo. That kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, he switches back and goes into his Gibble. Uh, I know that I can pretty easily counter this. Um, even though my Porygon is likely not faster, I still have the Ice Beam. He switches into his Mankey, go for the Ice Beam. Kinda sorta get a freeze. That really sucks. I mean, to be fair, I could have switched into my Fungus, but that pretty much just means that his Mankey is useless. So in that sense, I'm sorry. Uh, that really sucks. So he's gonna go back into his Blitzel now. I'm not entirely sure why, but for some reason, uh, I go for the Agility. I probably should have outright killed him, but he goes for the Thunder without rain, hits, and gets a Paralysis. Not gonna lie, that pissed me off a lot. Like, dude, are you freaking serious right now? So anyway, on the turn that I go for agility, of course, whatever, he just kills off my Porygon, GG Porygon, whatever. Goes into his Gibble now, now I don't have Ice Beam, not very fun. Uh, I'm, I get, my best defense against this thing is Omanite, and it also has Skull, that's some offensive prowess, that actually manages to kill off the Blitzel. One thing that's uh, important to note is that this guy is using uh, Leftovers and not Eviolite for most of his Pokemon, which I found kind of weird. Excuse me. Uh, he's gonna go end up going for the Destiny Bond. I don't really care though. Um, my Omanite doesn't serve much more of a purpose except for maybe killing his uh, Gibble, but still it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. And I'd rather have his Drifloon dead. So he's gonna go into his Ducklet now as I go into my Fungus. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Spore here, but he hits a Hurricane without rain! <sighs> really? Yeah, um, <laughs> right. So now my only uh, chance is Abra, and now at this point, I was pretty mad. But anyway, um, that's why you're going to see me actually using Protect here. Even when it, of course, doesn't matter. I just kind of wanted to make this guy angry. He goes for the Rain Dance. That pretty much costs him the game, and you'll see that. Because um, now I'm going to be able to outspeed him. Because for some reason, he is not Swift Swim. I don't know if Ducklet can't get Swift Swim or something. I thought it could. But that means that I can kill it off with a Psy Shock. Uh, he goes into his Gibble. I am, of course, Focus Sash. So I will be able to live his uh, Earthquake. Still, I don't know what the item of this guy was. Might have been Choice Scarf, Choice Ban, maybe. But yeah, Focus Sash, kill him off with uh, Psy Shock, and uh, there you go. So there, uh, that's the battle. <laughs> so a GG kind of uh, flavor drink that was actually a really closer match than I thought it would have been. But um, anyway, yeah, 
Thank you all very much for watching. I'm sorry for not uploading many Pokemon Showdown battles. I haven't really had the motivation to uh, actually go and actively play unless it's a uh, live video, which, by the way, I will be uploading more of. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>